has it ever been illegal for status Indians to uh, practice their traditional ceremonies? False. False? That's actually true. Wow. Yeah. False. That's actually true. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Potlatches are a celebration of culture, tradition, and history. Children are involved right from the start. Even though they may, may not fully understand the specifics about potlatch, they're here to gain the, the spirit. And in that spirit, they gain the strength of identifying who they are. The European Christians actually believe that the traditional ceremonies and sweat lodge and whatnot were the work of the devil. My name is Mark Francis Rummel. I teach at the University of Winnipeg Religious Studies Department. You know, the traditional ceremonies, Sundance, Sweat Lodge, Vision Quest, Shake Tent, the, the feasting, the giveaway, the potlatches, all the traditional ceremonies were actually outlawed in Canada. It was against the law. It was against the law to be singing, to be drumming, to be dancing, to have a giveaway. It's totally bizarre. The um, laws pertaining to uh, the prohibition against the potlatch actually starts about 1884. In the potlatch, all sorts of you know, goods are given away, where an indi individual would almost sort of give away their whole wealth. It's so central to the uh, you know, existence of the whole culture, essentially. By about 1894 or so, then you have prohibitions against uh, traditional dancing and sun dancing and all these types of things. And the idea, of course, is that as long as, um, as, long as Aboriginal people are tied to these things, they will never be able to integrate. They'll never be part of the civilized process. Like, people were charged for this. That's totally bizarre. When you, How can you charge somebody for singing, for dancing? You know, like, it's really weird, but... It's all part of the colonial enterprise, you see. You have to, you know, if you're trying to take over, uh, you know, the land and the resources, you have to, you know, eradicate the, uh, the traditional ways. It was the Indian agent living on each reserve who enforced the rules. Aboriginal people even needed a pass signed by the agent before they could leave their community. Do you know what an Indian agent is? I have no clue what that is. He was the one that lived, made sure that the Indian Act was enforced. So they are becoming the law unto themselves, a eh? little, almost dictatorships. Has it ever been illegal for status Indians to possess alcohol? Uh, false. You know, caring, selling, any, any offenses concerning liquor, you, know, you weren't supposed to be around liquor at all, eh? But yeah, you could get, you know, six months imprisonment, you know, for, for liquor offenses. And it could be, you know, harsh, hard labor. Has it ever been illegal for a registered status Indian to be in a pool hall in Canada? Uh, false. That's actually true. That's true. Yeah. You know, even being in a pool hall where there's no liquor, you know, that could be a six-month offense, eh? First Nations veterans are proud of their wartime contributions. But when they returned to Canada, they were faced with mixed emotions. Even vets, you know, coming back from, from the war can't go out to the Legion halls. First Nations veterans were supposed to receive the same benefits as any other servicemen or women. The problems occurred when First Nations veterans were told to return to their reserves and see their Indian agents about their benefits. Veterans Affairs spread news about the Charter through posters and Legion halls. But the Liquor Prohibitions Act prevented First Nations veterans from entering Legions. So they had no way to find out what their rights were. Did Aboriginal veterans get the same benefits as other veterans after World War II? Uh, no, actually, um, I don't think so because uh, my relative was uh, Sergeant Tommy Prince and he, was, uh, he wasn't recognized when he got back from... Uh, from the war and that, and uh, yeah, it was uh, not not good, you know. He just went on the streets and uh, he didn't get the same treatment. Next on the sharing circle, a few other things you might not know. Even among bands and band counselors and chiefs, uh, if they want to set up a business, uh, they have to apply and get permission from the federal government. 